They said we got love for Judge Cannon. They say, well, Jack Smith, Jack Smith got to go. <laughs> Corrupt Jack got to go. <laughs> Beautiful people around the world. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best. It's going on in all you beautiful people's life, man. Y'all already see what we got today. Salute to my brother, Doug, man. Let's go and crank this thing. Let's get right into it. And again, we're wishing the best in everybody's life. Hope everybody's ready for a change this year. It's coming. It's coming quicker than you know it. Hope y'all are ready, man. Let's check this out, man. You won't believe what Judge Kenneth said to Jack Smith. Oh! Put my foot in some oatmeal. Why the hell did I say that? Why? Anyways, let's get into it, y'all. King News in the middle of the Florida Mar-a-Lago documents case uh, on Donald Trump. This is where the government tried to say he illegally held documents. The exact same thing that uh, Biden did and got away with. Trump's getting nailed. They're trying to just, you know, interfere with the election. Uh, welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots all collect Kang and yes, sir, my happy patriots. Yes, sir. Salute to the real ones, man. Hey, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Got these people trying to step on, step on Donald, man. You mean you can't step on Donald? Trick. <laughs> Get informed on the news. I try to keep it focused on the Trump trials because that's the biggest Democrat effort this year to screw with the election. And so as it all dismantles and falls apart before their very eyes, we are documenting every moment of it. This is the motorcade of Trump arriving in Florida. Okay, we're seeing something in Florida. This is Fort Pierce now, and Donald Trump just showed up screen right. And look oh, what's right. going on screen left. Wow. Actual news today, guys. You need to know this today. Today. Right? now but this is alx i love this quote from twitter more people showed up for donald trump when he goes to court than show up for joe biden when he hosts rallies no one wants to see biden there's no excitement trump goes to court and look what happens Pop out his polls me. goes up and it, he turns it into a campaign event the case is whether or not it could get bumped this is the documents matter that pertains to mar-a-lago after the president left the White House. So we're going to see whether or not the trial date stands up or what they decide to do. But that is some turnout there. On what Fox is saying, this whole case today in Florida is just about the court date. It's it has to be pushed and Jack Smith wants to hurry it. So they're having this court date on can they move it. It really doesn't matter what it, whether if they push it, go earlier, later, whatever. The point is, Jack Smith is using this for politics, and Aileen Cannon, the judge, just ain't going to move. She does not like being manipulated by these apparatchiks, and she doesn't think the documents case is some big emergency that has to be settled before the election. This is why this works with the campaign. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work against the campaign. Yeah. Doesn't take him, it takes him off the campaign trail, but in many ways it puts him right on it because this is a huge outpouring of support. It doesn't oh, take boy. him off the campaign trail. And that's what the Democrats speculated with all these lawsuits. They're all, we're finally gonna get Trump. We're gonna beat that guy. We're gonna take him off of the campaign trail. The campaign trail just follows him to the courthouses. Another huge backfire on Biden's corrupt Department of Justice and Jack Smith. Corrupt, Your corrupt, plan corrupt, is corrupt, falling corrupt. apart. It didn't work. You guessed. You speculated. You're wrong. Here's Julie Kelly. Wrong as hell. <laughs> on Twitter, walking us through today's Florida case. Julie Kelly, right now they're in lunch break in Florida courtroom of Judge Cannon in classified documents case. President Trump arrived at 9.55 this morning along with his attorneys and co-defendants. Now, I'm only giving you the timeline so that you can see. So by the end of this day, this case will be done and decided on if they keep the date or not. Special counsel Jack Smith here too, but did not speak during morning session. Judge Cannon appears unfazed by yet another historic hearing in her courtroom. She peppered Smith's team with questions about timing of the new trial date, the Department of Justice asking for early July, and the very contentious issue about scope of prosecution team. 
So this is about, remember, the scope of its contentions is Jack Smith is trying to keep it narrow and private and secret with redacted documents. And no, you can't look there. No, you can't touch that. And Alien Cannon's going like, no, we're going to remove all the redaction, let people have access to all these files in public, and it's going to end up revealing just how deep and thick the FBI and the Department of Justice all have their greasy, giant government hands all over this thing. Big greasy, big greasy, big greasy! At the outset, Judge Cannon stated the special counsel, Jack Smith's new proposed trial schedule, May 20th trial date will be vacated. Leading the trial date of July 8th is unrealistic, given at least 13 outstanding motions and intense SIPA litigation. That is the special guidance on the handling access to classified evidence before and during the trial. Hmm. See, Aileen Cannon can't just go, okay, you can handle all these presidential documents that Trump is going to trial for. Yeah, yeah. See, that's how you know Jack Smith yeah. and, and, and Biden do not care about these documents. They're like going, no, nah, just let the jury handle them. Let everyone grope them. Let everyone see them. But don't let the information out. See, and Aileen Cannon's going, no, you have to redact them. You have to very carefully to allow people to see them and move the trial forward. There's so much bureaucracy in this, guys. And these these doc, these classified documents, when they're labeled document classified, they can have secrets. You know what I mean? Huge, giant governmental secrets they do not want you to know about. Oh, yeah. So they have to go slow. And that's why Jack Smith is crying and wetting his pants. Oh! Another issue... Oh, oh. <laughs> Tell him to lick that big toe. Lick that big old toe. She got fungi on her too. My bad, y'all. Let me calm down. Mm -hmm. Is Alvin and the Chipmunks Braggs down in, out in New York. Alvin Braggs prosecution of Trump later this month. The trial's expected to begin March 25th and last between six to eight weeks. That's two months. Let's put them out to, let's see, April, the end of May, interrupting Trump's ability to attend any court proceedings in Florida for almost two months so they can't push Aileen Cannons up. This And whose fault is that? Is that Trump's fault? Is that Aileen Cannon's fault? Are they, They're all saying, oh, Aileen Cannon, she's a, she's a Trump appointee and she's just crooked. No, who's the one who put, who Alvin Bragg did this? It's not Aileen Cannon's fault. Yeah. Alan Bragg, these... Democrats have loaded up uh, the calendar so much that they're starting to conflict, and that's wonderful. When Smith's team tried to blame Trump attorney Chris Keis for taking on both the Bragg case and the classified documents case and argued his work um, schedule related to both matters could not preclude the Florida trial from moving forward, Judge Cannon reminded the Department of Justice that right to access all court proceedings doesn't apply to the lawyers, but to the accused. It doesn't apply to Jack Smith and his team. It applies to the accused, that is Trump. He has the rights. In January, Trump filed a lengthy motion detailing numerous government agencies, including the Biden White House, involved in the investigation and prosecution of the classified documents case. Agencies included NARA, that's the, um, the National Archives that are corrupt. Department of Justice, corrupt. Well, FBI, corrupt. Well, HQ, don't know what that is. The Intelligence Community, Department of Defense, Department of Environment uh, or Energy, Department of Energy, and the other usual suspects. Contrary to public assertions and Jack Smith's indictment, it appears uh, National Archives and Department of Justice and even the Biden White House general counsel were in cahoots as early as spring of 2021 to concoct a documents charge against Trump just in case he was going to run for president. So that shows that they were colluding early on to get him. OK, and, and they're denying that they're going, no, nah, this isn't a conspiracy at all. We didn't conspire with each other. Department of Justice says FBI opened an investigation into mishandling of classified documents in March of 2022 after the National Archives sent a criminal referral following the alleged discovery of files with, quote, classified markings in the 15 boxes Team Trump gave to NARA, National Archives, in January of 2022. 
So as you can see, this is all about timeline, guys. This is about the manipulation of time. And the team Biden can't work fast enough against Trump. But the defense team has evidence. That's Trump is the defense team has evidence, including emails and other records to dispute that. that. So they want an evidentiary hearing on the full scope of the prosecution team to determine which federal agencies or officials must meet Jenks, Giglio, and Brady discovery obligations. So they have these names for these different discoveries, and they're going to try and pull all this data out of the FBI, National Archives, Department of Justice. It's going to be beautiful. Basically, the people who hold the nuclear codes, basically they could just send out subpoenas to all these people, tie this court case up for four years. Meanwhile, Trump becomes president. New Department of Justice comes in and tells them all these investigations, all these um, trials end. But a Judge Cannon pushed Jay Bratt, the lead prosecutor in classified documents case, also involved in the investigation before Jack Smith was appointed. He visited Mar-a-Lago with three FBI agents three in FBI, June of uh, 2022 to admit at least three FBI officials from FBI headquarters were involved as well. Hmm. Therefore, they already have FBI headquarters saying, uh, basically proving Jack Smith was a liar when he said he wasn't colluding with Jack. other uh, oh, people damn Jack. high ups. Jack Smith is fighting not just the motion to compel discovery based on Trump's scope of prosecution team, but doesn't even want Judge Cannon to hold an evidentiary hearing on the matter where she can just say it's like opening up an investigation saying, how much evidence is there? And then Trump's team can suggest evidence. And Brat said very emphatically, quote, we need to bring this case to trial this summer. Hurry. Judge Cannon, again, sounded skeptical, quote, look, and this isn't political, guys. It's not political for a judge to say this, quote, there's a lot of pretrial work that has to be done and it needs to be done properly and correctly. That's how we're going to conclude this episode, because Jack Smith does not care about properly or correctly. He's all, you don't understand, Judge Cannon. The ends justify the means, and our ends are we have to get Trump. And that means the means will be you will do this sloppily, improperly, and incorrectly. You'll do this now. And this is good news for Trump, guys. This puts Biden's going like, "Eh, my plan to use lawfare against Trump, use my corrupt uh, Department of Justice Merrick Garland, didn't work against that alien cannon, that woman. We have to get that woman. Why is this woman a judge? Why should women even go practice law? She should be in the kitchen. That's what the Democrat feminists are saying about her as they mansplain to her and defend Jack Smith, a man. I love playing these games against the Democrats. They don't like it when you play it against them. That's why we play it all day right here. I'm Doug in Exile. Yes, sir. Now we're going to crank that bitch to the left and crank it to the right. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. They say we're going to crack a beer to that, Doug. They say this judge is a stand up woman. She's not blackmailed easily. They can't take him off the campaign trial. He is the campaign trial. Donald J., get ready. This turnout is what Trump needs to keep to needs to keep going. Yes, sir. Oh man, Judge Cannon, you go, girl. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Trump twenty twenty four. God is on your side, Amen. If twenty five percent of judge of uh, Judge President Trump put on the federal bench as intelligent and has the legal piece of Judge Cannon, America is in, America is in good hands. Um, this this typing is kind of uh you need to do a little more grammar check when y'all be typing these comments in now, okay? You know what I'm saying? But yes, indeed, man. Y'all comment down below what you think. Everybody saying, I hope Judge is, Cannon is heavenly protected, heavenly, heavily protected. 
Yes, indeed, man. But hey, I love you guys. I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life. Shout out to my brother, Doug, man. Original link in the description box down below. Y'all go to Doug's channel, man. Show him some love. And hey, I will catch you beautiful people in the next one. Peace and love, you guys.